All right. Hi, YouTube. Today is going to be a quick LaTeX example on doing um, subfigures. So when you have uh, just multiple plots you want to do. So we'll do this example right here as quick as we can. As straightforward as we can. Okay, so we're going to do it as a text picture. And each of these plots is an axis, so we need an axis environment. And then if you're used to using nodes and ticks, which is when you're drawing flowcharts and such, an axis environment is very similar to a node in that you can give it a name. So this is going to be plot A. We need to give it um, other things like limits. So we want x min to be 0. Let's say x max to be looks like 20. Y min to be 0. Y max will make it, let's say, 65. X label is X. Our label is the force, and that's because we're plotting uh, the force between two magnets here and comparing a simulation to experiment. We want to specify the width because it's two figures next to each other. We'll make it half the page width or half the text width on the page. So half the text width. And yeah, we want our data, so we'll use the add plot command after we close all our axis properties here with the square bracket. And now we want to say add plot. Just like we defined the axes and such, we're going to define characteristics of the plot. In this case, we'll make it a red line, so we'll just call it red. And because it's external data, we use this table command. So we say table, and then we give it the path to our data, which in this case is going to be dot slash data simulation a so I just gave it the path of a text file where one column is X and the other column is the force and I won't talk about headers and, and stuff like that right now okay we need another plot which is our experimental data which we're going to make blue I'm going to give it a marker I'm going to call it square there's a lot of different markers you can do you should can uh, look them up, this whole list. And that's in a file called experiment A. I'll take a quick look here to see if this should compile. I think it should. We'll see if it gives us any errors. Compile. I misspelled text picture right at the very start, and it uh, auto completed me this miss the misspelling. So there we go. Luckily, it'll auto correct it, and there's our plot. And now we want the second one. And with subplots, even though there's a subplots package and other ways you can do it, I think the best way is to just stick with you know normal node notation that the text picture is kind of always based on and what it's doing in the background anyway. So we're going to create our second picture here, but we're going to call it plot B. And we're going to say at equals and round brackets mean we're going to specify a node name. In this case our node is the axis itself called plot A. So we're going to say plot A dot uh, let's say outer south East, and you'll see why we have to say outer in a second. So that's where we want to put it, and we want to say what point on our new plot do we want to match with this point. We're going to say outer southwest. So that's the bottom left corner we want right on top of the bottom right corner of our first plot. Uh, the limits, recall, are a bit different. So the next plot. Y-axis will make it 200. Change the data to case B. And 
and there it is. And so that's just how you get two axes next to each other, which was the main point of this video, but we'll finish the figure while we're here. And so we need a legend, and we're going to use a node instead of the you know legend command here, because I find that this is what it's doing in the background, and it's, it's better to learn for ticks anyway. And so just like figures and tables and other things have uh, labels and ticks, you can give plots of labels. So in this case, we're going to say, I'm going to give this the label sim A. I'm going to label this sim B so we can use it elsewhere. And we're going to put our legend in a node. So node. And the reason why we said outer before is because when you just say northeast, you're actually referring to just the box with the data within it, not everything out here, all this text and X and Y labels. So in this case, we're making our legend node. And in this case, we want this to be a plot A. Let's put it at the top right corner here. So northeast. And for now, I won't. I'll just put some uh, subtext, some filler text X, just so we can see it pop up. And there we go. So to look like a legend, let's give it some columns. So here we want one column to be what it is, and the second column to be these pictures here. And that's what these labels do for us. So we want it to be tabular environment. This specifies we want two centered columns. This would have put a borderline in between them, but in this case we don't want that, so we just say simulation. And we can just say ref. SMA. Experiment. Ref. Sim B, pardon me, not Sim B, this is experiment B, double slash is new line, so the ampersand separates the columns and the double slash starts a new row. And for the experiment, the manufacturer is called KNJ, so we'll put that here, knj.com, because we want the ampersand not as a LaTeX command, but it's just its normal. Uh, character as it appears in text, we need this slash. And so we'll see if this compiles for our legend. It does not. We'll see what it's grumpy about. Oh, it's because it's experiment A, not B. Over here, though, we want the legend to have a white background, and we wanted a uh, border around it, so draw it equals black. It's also bad practice to add something while you're debugging a uh, problem, but that's okay. So label sim A, label sim B. We wanted this to be experiment A. May still have issues, we'll try and compile it one more. Yep. So right now it's telling me that sim A is not defined, even though I am clearly looking at it as defined. And what actually happened was I was missing a curly bracket. Okay, so there's our legend, there's our plots. The next thing is we want to label 1a and 1b, and we do that again with nodes. So we say node. So let's see. Southwest plot A dot 
request. We'll do the same thing for plot B, so we can say figure 1A, figure 1B, for example. There we go. A, and now we have B. And that's it. Uh, you'll notice in the example that I put, there's little things like here is a reference in the document, and the reference number actually coincides with something in the figure. But we just forgot about that here. Um, the point was just to make a subfigure. So that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching.